Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this video I'm going to show you a quick technique that you can use to add some drama to clouds in your photos. So the example I'm going to be working on in this video, we've already got some decent clouds, it's quite dramatic already, um, but the uh, the idea and the concept of what I'm going to show you uh, is it, it's going to apply to basically any other type of shot uh, that's got any clouds in it. So um, yeah, let's dig in. Now the overarching concept behind how to uh, make clouds more dramatic is to simply increase the contrast. Now, yeah, that's that's quite good. And if you've got a shot where the clouds already have quite a lot of definition and all of that definition is exactly how you want it to be, then you can you know, just add contrast in the normal way that you would in your workflow just using curves or levels adjustments. However, a shot like what you've got on the screen at the moment, um, it's got, you know, we're starting off with some nice clouds, but over here on the left hand side of the sky, it goes quite flat. So it doesn't matter how much contrast we add to that. Uh, it's still, you know, quite a kind of flat, uninteresting part of the sky. So let me just show you, for example, if I had a curves adjustment, I can add an S curve and we can see over here, all of this uh, definition is uh, being enhanced, but over here it's still just a flat kind of blob really. Uh, so what we'll do, I'm gonna show you this technique uh, just using um, pretty much whatever preferred dodge and burn method you like to use, whether that's on a uh, pixel layer using the dodge and burn tools or how I'm going to show you is with an overlay blend mode layer and just using a brush. Um, you know, whatever method you like to use, then what we're going to do is just dodge and burn into the cloud to create that definition that we want to see. So yeah, let's, uh, let's show you how I would do that for this image. So the first thing I need to do is create a new layer. So we'll go to the layer, new layer, menu item there and here we're going to choose overlay and the reason we're going to do this here rather than down just with the new layer icon is because when you create the new layer with the overlay mode selected it gives you this checkbox here that you can fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray so I'll do that and I'll click OK nothing appears to happen on the uh, image that's because we've now got this gray layer in overlay blend mode if I just change that back to normal for a second, you'll see that's just just pure gray. So now that we've got this, I'll just put it back on overlay. Now that we've got this layer, what we can do is just start using a brush, either with a black or white foreground color. And we're gonna brush to essentially dodge and burn in the sky and to create the definition. So we'll use a really low, uh, a really low opacity on the brush. And I'm gonna start off with a black color, uh, black brush there. And what I'm trying to do here, I'm not just gonna be dodging and burning randomly. What I'm gonna be doing is looking for the object and looking for the shapes in the sky that have kind of got um, you know, a dark side and a light side. So if I zoom in and just a touch there, we can see these, um, this part of cloud has got like a dark underside and then it's got a lighter um, top edge. So, what I'm going to do is just brush with a dark, you know, with a black brush. I'm going to brush into the dark sides, like you know, the dark undersides of these clouds. So up here as well, just basically darkening what's already dark and just enhancing that. And I'll also just uh, reduce the brush size here and go in with a little bit more of a light touch in some of these areas over here because that's what's going to let me create that definition that I want. So over here, we're just basically darkening what's already dark. I'm doing this quite quickly <laughs> for the purpose of the video. You might want to take a bit more time yourself when you do this. And over here, let's, let's see if we can sort of create some definition by you know, creating a, like a dark edge to a cloud, which wasn't really there to begin with and maybe up here as well. So just brushing with the black brush still. 
And now I'm going to switch to a white foreground color and I'm going to do the reverse. So I'm now going to lighten the light sides of these clouds that I've just been darkening the dark sides to. So just lightening the light bits and I'll come in here and lighten this bit up. Uh, and also just up here in between this, these two little sections, which I sort of added some, uh, some definition to, I'll just switch back to a black foreground just to fill that bit back in. I went over the edges a bit too much there. And essentially the idea behind this is just to go around the image and just create the definition that you want to see in the clouds. So uh, just a keyboard shortcut there, X will switch the black and white foreground color or the foreground and background color, I should say. Uh, we've got black and white loaded in there. So pressing X will just flip between the two. Uh, so let's just do a bit more of this. And, you know, it's, it's quite fun actually when you can, uh, you know, you, you can just start creating shapes in the sky and just creating, uh, you know, these, these clouds and these dark and light bits to really sort of create something that wasn't there and it can help improve the composition of your photo overall. Uh, okay, so that, if I just toggle this layer off and on now, you can see the effect this has had. So this is the original image and now this is with the uh, dodge and burn layer applied. Uh, just looking at this after the fact, some of these brush strokes up here in the top left are um, a bit kind of heavy handed. Um, you know, when I'm looking at it in the navigator window over here, it kind of doesn't look 100% natural. But, you know, when you do this yourself, you'll uh, spend a bit more time blending in the, uh, the brush strokes and, you know, just taking a bit more care to make it look not quite so much like you've just brushed into the sky. Um, yeah, but this is this is the uh, the technique. And this is the foundation of the technique. And now once you've uh, added that definition in there, if you like, you could continue on and just completely process the sky and add all the contrast you want using further dodge and burn layers, or you could just then start to uh, increase the contrast in the sky if you wanted to push it a bit further, just using those other methods. So let's add that S curve now. Actually, probably don't want to brighten it too much. But really that kind of just demonstrates how, you know, you can create this foundational kind of dodge and burn layer. And then, you know, once you've basically given the, uh, the image some uh, definition, then the further contrast adjustments that you add later on, then they're going to have some more to work with uh, when you do that. So there we go. That just about sums up what I wanted to show you today. So if you like this video, and you want to see more on a regular basis and you want to uh, take part in Photoshop challenges that I'm setting every week and you know, access a whole bunch of uh, Photoshop courses that are designed to help you really master your workflow and all of the techniques that you're going to need to use, uh, that you're going to need to learn to process your landscape images, then uh, there'll be a link just below this video where you can go and sign up to the Photo Mastery Club website. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.